Good evening. My name is Cheryl McCoy, and I am uh, working on my practice sessions with Screencast-O-Matic. So I picked an area which I thought was pretty important and that had given me a little bit of trouble. Now that I've kind of thought about it, I've worked it out. So I go in, log in, a little slow tonight. All right, is this your first time here? No. I could put my username and password, but we've kind of got past that. And I log in with Google. You can log in with Facebook and other things too. So we've got the Moodle practice area for teachers. That's where I'm going to work because I'm trying to do some things as a teacher and then get ready for Moodle MOOC 10, which comes up May 1st and is these Moodle MOOCs are awesome. And now in the front part of this, I could come in here and look Screencast-O-Matic. That's what I'm using right now. You should see a little yellow circle like this. There are all kinds of tools that I can use. I can use this arrow. I can give it a color, but I can just make it like that. See, there's the arrow wherever you want to go. So you can show people, I do this first, then I do this, or whatever you'd like to do. Now, if I want to, I can erase. But I prefer just to use the little golden circle for, for today, but we're not going to, this is pretty informal. I don't know how many of you has used Screencast-O-Matic, but you will really appreciate it. I thought about using Jing, and Jing is excellent. You can do a lot of really cool stuff with it. But for this particular workshop video, I don't think I really need to do that because basically I'm just going to be showing you things that you can see on the screen. Now, if I wanted to bring pictures in, I could do that. And then, of course, slide speech. That's a really good program if you make your make a PowerPoint or something like that. And then you can always insert some things from these other two programs. But in the meantime, we'll go right back up here and we're going to go to create video tutorials. No, that's where we are right now. Help desk. Now under help desk is something that's very important. You see where it says support? I know when I first got started, I thought support was one of the minimal areas. Not true. It is probably your key operations area. You need to know how to get into it and out of it quickly and that's what I'm going to be uh, showing you. That's what I'll be showing you tonight. So I'm clicking on support. I started a discussion about making a screencast-o-matic screencast instructional video and there's my name. And then, of course, I haven't really done anything yet, so I wouldn't expect anybody to have responded yet. So these are some people that I responded to earlier. Actually, I responded to everyone because this is my chance to get to know people. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, I want to find out what Cheryl's doing. I want to see something about her discussion. Well, you know, this is the discussion we're working in right here. But sometimes when you're in a hurry or you're not really exactly knowing what you're going to do, sometimes you click on the person's name thinking that, well, I'll get to the discussion. When you click on someone's name, this is where you come. You come to their, um, their profile. So here's my profile. There. This is a poster that a group of friends and I, uh, we all shared on Google. Uh, Google Docs, and a little bit about, this is the college where I attended school. This is uh, a town where they celebrate Halloween. And these are some, this is a columbine plant, some other types of plants, a big, huge water beaded spider plant that was in my yard. One of the most beautiful falls we ever had, my grandma's house, and a really interesting storm and a bunch of other stuff. Now this tells all about me if you want to learn about me, but that's not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was find out about using the Moodle practice area for teacher support forum. So when you get back here, go to your support forum, 
click on it, come down here, do not click on my name or my icon. Either one of these will take you back to my portfolio. And that was confusing for me at first because, you know, it's just sometimes the little things that get you kind of off target. What you want to do is come over here to where it says discussion and click on a screencast video. Here I am. This is the topic. And I'm going to make a screencast-o-matic video. I thought this might be helpful to others. Thanks in advance for checking out my video. Critical friends critique would be very helpful. Okay, and what that means is in, in the critical friends sessions, uh, groups of teachers work together. Um, they have time. They're usually on a team or they teach the same subject and they get together and they talk about things. They go to each other's rooms and observe and talk about things that they liked, what they thought they might work on, and maybe it's things that the whole group could work on. So anyway, it's something that's, um, oh, non-threatening, but whatever you'd like to say as a positive or a negative or a helpful hint or something like that, feel free to do that. Now, we're all so glad that Dr. Nelly has given us all this time and space and her valuable resources to learn more about teaching online. So I know how you are. I and I am the same. I want to do the very best job I can. Have fun. Enjoy the grown-ups. Enjoy the kids and make a life for ourselves online. Thank you so much.